Hello everyone. What happens to your refrigerator temperature when you open the door? Welcome to a project that completely sidetracked me. I built this circuit for something else. So before we can answer this question about our refrigerator, we need to make a sensor shield or some kind of sensing mechanism to do all this. And the way we're gonna do that is we'll base it around Arduino because that's what I do all the time. And we're gonna use a DHT22 temperature sensor to record the ambient temperature of the refrigerator as well as log the humidity, which turns out is very important. We'll also use a photoresistor. So when the refrigerator door opens, the light turns on. And this will give us a clear example logged with time as temperature is being tracked when the refrigerator door is open. I'm also gonna use some things like some LEDs to check status some TMP36s, which are just like temperature probes, and we'll use these to place in different locations in the fridge, and also tape to objects within the fridge so we can get a better understanding of, even though the air temperature of the fridge changes, what happens to actual objects within the fridge? Are they warming up as well? And because the DHT is somewhat accurate to sense humidity and temperature, as far as it's a cheap part, uh, it can only sample it can only sample once every two seconds, which doesn't seem very often, but we're gonna actually measure over the course of a couple hours to maybe a dozen of hours within the fridge. And this is actually gonna amount to a lot of data that we're gonna log. So to log all this data, we'll use a micro SD card reader attached to the Arduino and dump out all this data into a text file, import that text file into Excel, and then we'll analyze it from there. So what could be a somewhat messy circuit, this is consolidated into this PCB that I made. And it just functions as a Arduino shield, kind of like an environmental temperature something logger. I don't know. So what happens when you open the door? What happens if you leave the door open for a long period of time? Do your items warm up? The answer is unsurprisingly, well, not really. Before I can show you all this data, we have to first establish a control. So what is the nominal temperature of the fridge? I tried to run this experiment with the fridge pretty well stocked since this is the best case scenario for your fridge. More objects in your fridge will hold or maintain a more consistent cold temperature since that's essentially more thermal inertia uh, when the fridge is fully stocked. And remember, we're sampling every two seconds, which will give us a pretty fine resolution as far as data capture is considered. Here's a eight hour idle cycle of the fridge. As a reminder, the green, the green line is the photoresistor. This is telling us the door status. When it's below 50, the door is closed. And when it's above 50, the light is on, meaning the door is open. So this, you can see the heat exchanger, the compressor cycle running through a course of eight hours. When the fridge gets warm enough, the compressor cycle turns on dumps conditioned air into the fridge, cools it off, and repeats the cycle over and over. So we have a maximum internal high temperature of around 44 degrees and a low temperature around 38 degrees. And that's this blue line, the fridge ambient air temperature. The humidity is the red line, and we can see the humidity, every time you open the door, the humidity immediately rises to whatever the humidity is in the room. And because the temperature sensor is so cold, it condenses quickly and we get kind of a value that really doesn't match anything because uh, the ambient humidity in the apartment is around 65, I believe. But when the door is kept closed, uh, the air actually just gets drier and drier and drier because the conditioned air is coming in at a very, very low humidity. And it, when it mixes with the ambient humidity inside the fridge, as long as the door isn't open, we can see this matches with every compressor cycle and gets drier and drier. So what happens when we actually open the door? So this is a, a scenario that actually put this in, let everything get to cold temperature or reasonably around the cold temperature. And this is when I was making breakfast one morning. So I had to open the door a couple times to make breakfast and put things away. Again, we can see the immediate spike in humidity, and there is very small rise, like a few degrees. So we start at 45 and we rise to... So I leave the fridge closed for a while, 
and you can see there's another compressor cycle in this mix. You can see the temperature is slowly dropping. So this is in the middle of a compressor cycle, which likely kicked on as soon as I opened the door and the humidity is drying out. Compressor cycle stops, then it starts again, cooling the fridge down again. And again, here's a small window where I open the fridge and there is a small rise in the ambient air, but it's not very drastic. The biggest change is the humidity changes in the fridge when you open the door. So this is kind of a small controlled example where the fridge door is only open for a few seconds to grab an item. What happens when you open the door for a very long time? So to do this, we need to actually look at an, an object in the fridge to identify, is it warming up when we open the refrigerator door? So in this example, I've actually marked a couple more things. So the temperature of the ambient air in the fridge is the blue line. The door status is the green line. Red line is humidity. But we're now looking at two different, two extra points of testing. And these are actual temperature probes that are close or taped to certain objects in this case. So the purple line is the condition air. So this is the extremely cold air that's coming from cooling the, the freezer. And now that comes down and cools the fridge. So this is the actual temperature of the air when it's coming in to cool the fridge. And it's as low as zero degrees and as the fridge kind of warms up, um, it goes up to 15 degrees. But this is at the outlet of where that cool air comes in in the fridge. And our other item, lighter blue line, and this is the pickle jar. So I taped a temperature sensor to the pickle jar. And as you can see, if we leave the door open for about three minutes and 20 seconds, that pickle jar just slightly warms up from 34 degrees to about 38 degrees. So a little bit more than a degree per minute if we leave the door completely ajar. But as soon as you close it, that compressor cycle is on. As you can see, the ambient temperature just cools down completely. So that's it. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I know this could have been a pretty dry talk about what's happening inside my fridge. But the idea of this kind of captivated me and well, I sidetracked a whole weekend uh, just to do this experiment. If you do want to recreate this experiment, I left the fritzing diagram on my website along with the Arduino code. I haven't made any PCBs right now, as in I don't have any extras to sell, but if this gains traction, that's something I will do in the future, and I'll update this video in the description as well. So I, I do want to talk about the Ar Arduino code, which is also on my website, uh, just so you guys can get your bearings with it first. It's basically a lot of built-in Arduino examples just rolled into one large data logging experiment. And those examples are like the built-in SD card logger, the DHT11 examples come with the library, uh, analog read for like the photo sensor and the list goes on. The most important part about this Arduino code is the data format. So if you're gonna analyze any of this data, like particularly in Excel, it has to be formatted in a way that is easily importable and you can lay graphs down easily. And that's like comma or tab delimited. Uh, so this case is comma delimited. And if we look at this code, it's just taking all our variables that are actually data points and putting them in long, one long string separated by commas. So you can see in the live serial monitor, that's this data coming in and it's already formatted for you. So if this is something you wanna expand upon or shorten, uh, this is where you wanna look in this code, just remove uh, these particular variables or add more and use a comma to separate them. Otherwise, that's it. Um, stay tuned. I have a larger arcade project in the works that's taking an enormous amount of time with everything else I have going on. Uh, but that's nothing new. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.